it's on again, is it? So who is driving this and, and when are we talking? <laughs> ah, Pete, I give up already. This is how it starts, isn't it? It's rather self-indulgent in the middle of a pandemic that the Nationals might be looking to knife their own leader. But, hey, it's politics and this is what we do. So it's in the Australian newspaper this morning that the Nationals are looking to uh, replace their leader. It's a destabilisation campaign. Of course, Michael McCormack has faced this previously. It seems like the potential replacements and... Again, it's not to say that these two people are driving it, but the potential replacements are David Little, Proud or Keith Pitt. Both of those are cabinet ministers at the moment. But uh, Michael McCormack has, has hit back in a quote where he says, uh, I won't be drawn on unsubstantiated gossip from those unwilling to put their name to it. Of course, he uh, fended off a leadership spill back in February from Barnaby Joyce. I happened to sit down with him a few days after that and this was what he told me. Why did you drive your name forward? Well, um, I, I didn't really. I was nominated by other people. Oh, but yeah. they wouldn't have done that unless they knew you were. Yeah, of course. I, and I always said that. But, uh, you know, I, I just I suppose two years out from election, if you're going to do something, this is when you do it. If you're going to lance the ball, lance it now before we, before we start sitting in Parliament. Uh, get it over and done with. None of us knew with it about three or four days or three days or two days that there was any possibility that there was ever going to be a leadership spill. So... One thing the National Party is not good at is planning that sort of stuff. Yeah, Pete, the schema suggests after the Queensland election and before Christmas. Nice present, that one. I remember watching that interview, John, at the time. It was very good. A very good interview, that one. Uh, and meanwhile, Australia's spy agency has warned universities about the risk to national security from China. Yeah, this is uh, part of the uh, continued encroachment on China and our universities. Apparently ASIO was in contact with our universities as far back as May to say they saw a problem here. This is part of the thousand government plan. Uh, the Chinese uh, trying to work with this, with uh, international academics. The concern is that once they start working with them, it can also lead to espionage. Universities have been thoroughly warned. This is a, a front which continues to widen each day, Pete.